This is a Russian folk tale called Mrs. Rabbit's House. So all through the summer, Mrs. Rabbit had been building herself a little wooden house. And all the while she was working, Mr. Fox had been laughing at her. Oh, why are you wasting your time doing that? said Mr. Fox. The weather is lovely. Oh, said Mrs. Rabbit, but just you wait until the winter when it snows. Ah, said Mr. Fox, my den under the roots of the old oak tree will be perfectly snug. The seasons came and the seasons went and soon it was winter and the snow fell and the wind blew and Mr. Fox realised that his den under the roots of the old oak tree was not as snug as he thought it was. And so one night he went and he knocked on Mrs. Rabbit's door. Hello, Mrs. Rabbit, it's Mr. Fox here. I was just wondering, it is so cold out here. I'm f f freezing. Could I, could I please come into your house? And Mrs. Rabbit said, no, you laughed at me all the time I was building it. So you can stay out there in the cold. So Mr. Fox waited for a few minutes and then he knocked on the door again. Hello, Mrs. Rabbit, it's Mr. Fox again. Now, look, I don't want to come inside your house, but I was just wondering, could I just sit and shelter in your porch out of the wind, please? Because it is so cold out here. And Mrs. Rabbit, being a kind hearted soul said, oh, very well, you can sit in the porch. Well, a few minutes later, Mr. Fox knocked on the door again and he said, oh, Mrs. Rabbit, it's Mr. Fox here. The wind does howl and whistle round this porch. So I was, I was just wondering, I, I don't want to come right into your house, but could I just sit inside the front door out of the wind, please? It, it is so cold out here and, and I am f freezing. And he went on and on. And eventually Mrs. Rabbit, being a kind hearted soul, said, very well, you can come in. So Mr. Fox came in and there they were. Mrs. Rabbit was sitting on a shelf above her warm, cosy stove. And Mr. Fox was lying just inside the front door, like a draft excluder, with his chin on his paws like that. And after a few minutes, he looked up at Mrs. Rabbit and he said, oh, Mrs. Rabbit, you look so warm and cosy up there. And oh, there is such a cold draft coming in under this door. Could I possibly come up and join you up there? I would be so quiet. You would never know I was there. Please, please. And Mr. Fox went on and on and on. And in the end, Mrs. Rabbit, being a kind hearted soul, said, very well, you can come up here. So there they were. That's how they spent the night. Mr. Fox sat at one end of this shelf above the stove. Mrs. Rabbit sat at the other. Well, in the morning, you will not believe what Mr. Fox did. He pushed Mrs. Rabbit off the shelf and he bundled her out of the house and he said, come on, you smelly old rabbit, out you go. I'm not sharing my house with you. What do you mean? Your house, said Mrs. Rabbit. I think you'll find it's my house. Not anymore, said Mr. Fox, and bang. He slammed the door in Mrs. Rabbit's face, leaving her out in the snow, crying. Well, after a while, Mr. Dog came down the road and he saw Mrs. Rabbit crying and he said, hey, Mrs. Rabbit, what's the problem? And she said, well, I let Mr. Fox into my house last night because he was cold and I felt sorry for him. And he's thrown me out and I can't get back in now. Don't worry, said Mr. Dog, I'll help you. And he went up and he knocks on the door. Ruff, he said, hello, Mr. Fox, it's Mr. Dog here. You let Mrs. Rabbit back into her house, because if you don't, I'm going to come in and there will be trouble. Well, inside the house, was Mr. Fox scared? No, he wasn't. 
he threw back his head and he howled and he said there's no fox in here i'm mr wolf and if you try coming in well you are going to be the one who's in trouble and when he heard that mr dog put back his ears and he ran off through the trees with his tail between his legs leaving mrs rabbit crying in the snow and a few minutes later down the road came mr wolf and he saw mrs rabbit and he said hey mrs rabbit what's the problem and she said oh mr wolf you will not believe it but I let Mr. Fox into my house last night because he was cold and I felt sorry for him. And this morning he's thrown me out and he won't let me back in. Don't you worry, said Mr. Wolf. I'll get this sorted. And he knocked on the door and he howled and he said, hey, Fox, it's Mr. Wolf here. If you don't let Mrs. Rabbit back into her house, I'm coming in and there will be trouble. Well, inside the house was Mr. Fox scared. No, he wasn't. He went up to the door. <sighs> There's no fox in here. I'm Mr. Bear. And if you try coming in, you are gonna be the one who gets in trouble. Well, as soon as he heard that, Mr. Wolf, he put back his ears and he ran off through the trees with his tail between his legs, leaving Mrs. Rabbit crying out in the snow. A little while later, who should come along but Mr. Bear? And he saw Mrs. Rabbit crying in the snow. He said, hey, Mrs. Rabbit, what's the problem? She said, oh, Mr. Bear, you won't believe it, but I was, I let Mr. Fox into my house last night. He was cold. I felt sorry for him. And, and this morning he's thrown me out and I don't know what to do. And Mr. Bear said, oh, don't you worry, Mrs. Rabbit. I'll get this sorted. And he went up and he knocks on the door and he said, Oi, Fox, it's Mr. Bear here. You let Mrs. Rabbit back in her house, because if you don't, I'm coming in and there will be trouble. Well, inside the house was Mr. Fox scared. No, he wasn't. He roared and he said, there's no fox in here. I'm Mr. Tiger. And if you try coming in, you will be the one in trouble. And when he heard that, Mr. Bear put back his ears and he ran off through the trees. But he didn't put his tail between his legs. Because you see, bears, they've only got stubby little tails and they don't fit. There's Mrs. Rabbit, still in the snow, still crying. And a little while later, along the path came Mr. Cockerel. And he looked at Mrs. Rabbit and said, hey, Mrs. Rabbit, what are you crying for? What's the problem? Oh, Mr. Cockerel, she said, you won't believe this, but I let Mr. Fox into my house last night because I was feeling sorry for him and he was cold and this morning he's thrown me out and I don't know what to do. Eh, don't you worry, said Mr. Cockerel. I'll sort this for you. You, said Mrs. Rabbit. Well, pardon me for laughing, but Mr. Dog, Mr. Wolf and Mr. Bear have all tried and they've all failed. What do you think you can do? Ah, just you watch, said Mr. Cockerel. And he flew to the top of a nearby bush and he threw back his head and he called out, cock a doodle doo hello there, you fine hunters. Is it Mr. Fox you're looking for? Because he's in this house here. So why don't you come along with your dogs and your guns and you've got him trapped? Well, inside the house, was Mr. Fox scared? You bet he was. He heard the word hunters and dogs and guns and traps and he thought, that's it, I'm out of here. He opened the door, he put back his ears and he ran off through the trees like a red streak of lightning with his tail between his legs and he wasn't seen for weeks. And Mrs. Rabbit, 
She was so pleased with what Mr Cockrell had done for her that she invited him in and she cooked him a fantastic lunch. And that, my friends, just goes to show you that sometimes if you've got something that needs doing, it's brains you need, not strength. Thank you for watching.